welcome back. We're going to move on to week three now, and we're going to see just exactly where we stand with some of these recruits. So here we go, week two to three. This is the, the prime time for recruiting. And of course, as soon as we get all the, the stats of the week and everything back in, before we jump into recruiting, we'll check out the recap of the, the top 25, see the movers and the shakers in the top 10. Let's see what's going on with that Heisman. Yep, I'm rather anxious to see how this recruiting class turns out. This is actually a, a gigantic experiment. I've done this a couple of times. Like one time I just picked up UTSA, who is lowly when you start this game, and I just really tried to get a good class together. And I think I flipped around and ended up with like the number five overall recruiting class, something like that. And all I did was just what I'm doing here, which is trying to wheel and deal and steal everything I can. Hey, Reggie Bright. All right, let's go ahead really quick and throw my man Reggie another point here on the defense. And uh, I really kind of want to do this since we're going to be playing so much man coverage. Right then, so we're gonna save it and get into recruiting. And for those of you who don't want to watch the recruiting, go to this timestamp. For those of you that stayed, welcome back to our master class in recruiting. With 30 targets on the board, we are getting hot and heavy. Look at that, we took the lead with Justin Barnes, who is a five-star athlete from South Laurel, Maryland. So we're moving up on him. So first off, who was ready for the visit, huh? It was you. So we'll set him up for, for Miami. Well, I'm not entirely sure if we're making headway on him or not. It kind of looks like it. I mean, Alabama doesn't really have anything going on. So we'll, we might jump them next week. So we're in the lead with him. Isn't he a Juco guy? Yes, he is. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take some points out of these Juco dudes that we're obviously leading on. Looks like I can take afford, afford to take about about three hundred off of him, huh? So, yep, yep, yep. Looking good. So I'm really gonna try my best here. So it looks like all of these guys have potential. So what we're going to do is we're really going to focus in on the best possible players here, right? So Reggie Johnson is clearly a f dog. I mean, look at that. Look at them stats. Amazing. Amazing right out of the bat. He's, he's better than any wide receiver I have on my team right now. So one other thing... Um, Make sure I get that, yeah, this guy. So Ryan Thompson. I'd like to get some defenders too. So definitely Ryan Thompson. Definitely go with Reggie Johnson. We got these other guys as backups, right? I can't remember 
Bro, are you a Perujuko guy? stack of 700 to show off or to blow on somebody else so I'm thinking and really I, I, I like I'm rub for real shock that we have this many guys that are actually actually interested and I may see so the fact that the, they're only they're falling back that many points I think if I'm not mistaken we had him we had him already ahead so I can take off so since they're losing 365 points that means I have 365 points or 360 points I could take away until we start really seeing any dividends from him as far as losing ground and it's kind of the same thing here so I'll take some points off here I'm gonna try to really finagle the points and See if I can't make this really work. And it looks like absolutely nothing's happening with him. So, in the interest of... Yeah, but I'm definitely keeping all the points on him. So now I have 1,200 to throw around. So we will... I really like him as an athlete. He's got pretty good coverage skills. Godfrey. We'll leave Clayton win just hanging around here. All right. That's uh that's all we can do right now for the recruiting and I think everybody's got a scholarship and things will things will work themselves out as time goes on as these things usually do. But either way, we are looking really good. So that's the end of recruiting. Now, really quick, I forgot to. I was so excited about seeing what we had. I forgot to check out the top top 10 here. So let's see what's going on. <sighs> Unchanged, it looks as if. Although whoever was at 8 lost. So it looks like Oregon lost. Oh, no, no, they didn't. Washington lost to UCLA. So your top eight are pretty, or your top ten is the usual suspects, I suppose. Again, other than Louisville and Michigan State, all good teams. So let's see what's going on with the Heisman. I wonder if we're making any buzz over here. No, we're really not. And one other thing I kind of wanted to check out: Are we getting any votes as far as the top twenty-five is concerned? Hell no, no respect. It's just like last year. This totally happened last year. We were unranked till the very end of the second we got ranked in the top 25 right before the conference game. Mother f Ball State beat us. And here's an SEC team. Alright, well here we go. And we're without Frederick and King, so... Get this started versus Vandy and if I remember correctly we played them last year and they got like a crazy ass fake punt off on us and it blew my mind because very rarely do you even see a fake punt to begin with much less a successful one especially in this game so we're going to go with the uh, the white out here. Yep. 
the white out. I'm going to completely, not only erase them, but just completely cover up their existence. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I feel pretty good about our offense, although this is the, uh, the very first away game of the season. So I don't remember what kind of offense they run. But since they're an SEC team, I'm leaning probably towards something that has to do with the spread. We'll find out here soon once we see the stats. So it looks as if they are a passing team. And their best player is a really good wide receiver. seem to have a rather balanced offense. So we'll go through the, uh, the little opening scene here. They are the Commodores. Which I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Commodores is a, a funk band in the 70s. Toss, we're gonna kick. You remember how it goes? Yeah, all set. So I probably, I actually probably should have done that. Knowing how the defense goes, I probably should have taken the ball first. We shall see. that off in time. <sighs> Already it starts. I should have probably taken the ball first. But it's okay, so we're going to try to play some defense here. We're going to Gonna play the good old monster green. As opposed to the green monster, which is something that is also in Boston. Yep, that's right. So, you know, you gotta love it when you blitz and then everybody that you blitz gets blocked. Well, good thing he missed that. Because he was totally open. Well, we were pretty strong in this formation last week, so let's see if it works out again. Eh? Oh, yeah. Well, I thought this was a pass offense. Maybe they're about to show me. Either way, we're going to find out. Yeah, nice TFL, boys. Good defense. But I think they're going to try to field goal. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, cool. Well, if I can take this ball down here and score, then it looks like kicking actually paid off. It's 
still can't believe I threw for all those yards and they still gave it to Dixon. But that's okay. He's a great player. He, he played well. He deserves it. So, Trey. No, no. Trey open offset. The goods. It's the good formation. So, that left outside linebacker is going to blitz. Oh, no, he's not. It's okay. Quick little five. No big deal. They tricked me. Usually that uh, that doesn't work out quite like that, but that's okay. We're moving the ball. is going to be open. It always cracks me up when they lay on them forever like that. Like, dude, if they did that in, in the game, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how the other team would take that. I know if I was the guy being laid on like that, I would be pissed. I would really just be throwing out a whole lot of get the f off of me's out. Crucial, crucial, crucial right here. My man Peterson comes through. Sixty. Uh, it's wild seeing seeing a tight end out there wearing that number. I know it could happen technically nowadays, but especially in the NFL, and I, I don't really think there's any real numbering rules in college. There, I think there used to be, and there really used to be in the NFL, but not so much anymore. Like I think very recently, again, the, this was recorded in 2023. before the 2023 NFL Draft. Actually, Aaron Rodgers got traded to the New York Jets yesterday to give you some uh, some timeline, which is pretty crazy in and of itself, in all honesty. Some stuff I never thought I would see, but I understand why they did it and why Aaron wants to leave them because it seems as if they've really not given him a whole lot of help over, over time, like how many really good wide receivers they could have had and instead they just drafted other other players and stuff like that and you know i get it there's there's some something to be said about wanting to draft defensive players and stuff instead of always just drafting like a top flight wide receiver in the first round and taking the best player available is like totally their draft strategy i don't fault them for it i just think that you know on some level when you when you have an aaron Rodgers, you want to you want to get him a guy that can get open consistently. At least seems like a good idea. Anyway. Alright, we are moving right along here. Yeah, he just fell into the end zone because he's giant. Good old Nick Gay. Giant ass. Well, and there we go. Right off the bat, that kicking it. Kicking it off and playing defense paid off. Surprisingly. I did not think it was going to. Given the lack of defensive prowess available to me, 
But they stepped up. We'll see if we can't do it again. It, monster green. I really ought to call this the monster green defense. Whacked them. The quarterback was not as good as I thought he was going to be. So what we'll do now. Turn this punt. And then we'll uh, we'll hit him with some more cuts. See if we can't make the bleeding start all over again. I have a feeling. Dixon. He is a solid player. All right. Nice catch. Held on after contact. Pretty much all you can ask for right there. Unless we get a, a look that we really like, and this is one of those looks that we really like. Five yard run. Not too bad. To be real, I'm I'm just excited to see how the recruiting pans out. Like I, I really can't wait to be done with this game and move on to next week. Just to see if uh, we actually get some ridiculous five star players. I'm not even sure if I, that during that UTSA run that I was talking about earlier, if I got any five stars during that. Like I know I got plenty of four, but it's it's hard, very very hard to get a five star when you're a lowly school like ours. You got to have a lot of things go your way. May have Philip to come through. Ooh, good defense. It's a first incompletion. So close. Probably should have let him a little bit more. That's okay, though. Oh, 
all by himself. Not 14 to nothing. Just reeling in them points. Like a fly fisherman reels in a big ass fish. Reeling them in like Jeremy Wade. Who is an amazing fisherman, by the way. The guy could catch anything anywhere. You give him like a piece of tin foil and like some string and he'll make a fishing rod out of that. You catch like an 800 pound fish. Dude's incredible. See if we can't stop him again. You guessed it though, Monster Green. As the old saying goes, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Well, it's broke as f now. Oh my god. Really? Man, look at this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a backbreaker when they all bite and go with the run. He literally outran everybody on the defense. Ugh, that's a killer. Sometimes you get a phone call. Anyway. I'm about to get this ball back and... Uh, Score again, hopefully. And, you know, it just wouldn't be a UMass game if we didn't give up some big, gigantic touchdown. When we have better players here, that's not going to happen as often. All right. a boy, Ernest. He is a solid pass catcher, man. You gotta love him, you do. Good old Marvin Green, too. Solid, solid, solid. Really big old gay. Caught a touchdown pass. Big old gay 60. Something man up. I'm not gonna. It's a fantastic catch and run right there by the Ernest. My oh, man, Ernest. I'm actually going to run it this time. Solid six. Eric Smith has really kind of stepped up here. Kind of can't wait to be done with this season so I can cut most of these dudes in favor of good players. Mm, too bad they didn't man up. Solid, solid reception there. Smith is a good back. Man, Marvin, though, look at that. He's trucking them, putting them on their backs. I'm going to have to ride this hot hand really quick. Let's see what Marvin's up to. Again, man, as long as they just don't respect this. I mean, it's like taking candy from a baby. It really is. Until they figure it out. Down here in the red zone. 
It'll be a lot harder against good competition later on down the road. But, you know, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but this is something that took years to come up with, believe it or not. I can't go for the touchdown right here. Well, sometimes it'd be like that. Second and 24 it is. Mm, too bad. That's a good chunk of it back. Gotta really try to spread the touchdowns around where I can. Because my man Ernest will just eat on these clowns. Yep, Joe is not a throw on the run kind of guy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this field goal. In a rare move, I'm actually going to settle for the field goal. And it looks like everybody other than us is getting their ass beat out of conference. This is what you expect from the Mac. Looks like this is a this might run into the nighttime though, this game. It looks kind of dusky. As if the sun is setting. Oh, come on, Perry. You gotta pick that off, bro. And again, if you want to hear the uncensored versions of these, please go to our Rumble page. Because I'm going to be censoring... like that oh boy Come on. There's another big touchdown. Oh, dude, watch this missed tackle. So he comes down, but somebody has the angle. And then just, nope, yep, yep, you don't tackle anybody. Oh, you play for UMass, you can't tackle anybody. And that's what it is. So what do you want to bet? Since I picked all out blitz, this is going to be a play action pass. And they're going to actually block everybody. Betcha. Oh, I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. Still. You know what, though? This is where we should go to split. And hit them with the... Where is it? Good old monster green. You guessed it. matter. Everybody's blocked. Well, nice drive, Vanderbilt. Nice drive. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can score again, shall we?
disrespecting my man Marvin. Uh, just disrespectful. I think a white dude can't play wide receiver. Clearly, they've never watched a Rams game. I would be too. Where was he throwing that to? So I was 25 or 27. I tried to put that behind him. But see, this is this is what Heisman does to you. I swear to God. There's just gonna be a pass every now and then that's just wildly off target for no reason. Solid six. Hell yeah. Spin them around. Fantastic run right there. See if we can't make it even more. Excuse me. Solid catch. Oh, baby. Well, that was Phil. I believe this will be a good one right here. And I was right. Nice little free touchdown for my man Ernest. Whoa, and again, if that happened in real life, that's unnecessary roughness. Clearly the touchdown's been scored, but to be hit like that after the touchdown gets scored, like watch this. He catches this and then this dude just goes you blam unnecessary roughness we'll call that in a minute but again you know minute 13 hopefully they don't have enough time to score I guess I should say is hopefully they don't just decide well, guess what we're gonna run for 85 yards because everybody over pursued on the left side but we're running it to the right and nobody on your, on your team is fast enough to catch up Either way, we are up 10, 10 points, and they're definitely going to have to start passing the ball here because they got a minute 13 to figure it out. Ah, 
Nice defense. That's the good stuff. That is what we want. We want this kind of play from the players. This is what we talk about in my home country of Africa. Again, I'm I'm really tired right now. So I'm probably going to loop through a bunch of different accents. That was totally a face mask. This is what happens when I get tired. If you, if any of you guys have watched the the first season of you of of Critical Mass, you know I swear I picked my play already, but okay. If any of you have watched the first season? There's a a totally just a couple of times where I just burst into a, a bunch of different accents. So I'm calling a timeout. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed. I had to push that like seven thousand times. You CPU. So we seem to do really well. We seem to do really well in this formation. Let's see if we can't keep it up, huh? Nice, boys. Now we're playing them tough. this year Rodney nice pick so what we're gonna do now I go. hear that yeah, that's me trying like hell to get this controller to respond which it's just not for some stupid reason so we're going to try to do, catch them in single high safety like this. So we can't get them to do that again. What we want is straight up man coverage like this. a whole shot and that's a legitimate NFL throw right there from that boy Joe come on man up you mother just walk casually out of bounds stop that clock boy Dixon has definitely been dominant tenacious if you will yeah, look, he's backing way up. That was a good old feel. We're going to try to ha make this happen again. <laughs> this looks like cover two, probably. It's probably picked. Not enough zip on it there. Thought I just lasered that ball in there. Potentially that would have been a touchdown. But they played good defense that time. And see, here we are with single high safety. And they keep doing this, but they're smart to keep their corners back. Because if they didn't... I would beat them deep. So close. I should have just kicked the field goal. Oh well. What are you going to do? At least we get the ball back. Up 10. And we're, we're 
moving, humming on offense right now. Firing on all cylinders. Damn, it's going to be good when I have a good return, man. You know, how many times are they going to see this before they learn? But they should just, they really ought to like triple team 81. Because he's really just going to eat you for f***ing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You ain't going to like it. Ah, uh, oof. That was not so, not so good of a throw right there. Yep, talk some shit. You actually stopped Ernest Dixon from catching a pass. Ooh, too good to pass up. Nice catch, Lance. Clutch. On third down. To catch a pass is one thing. But to hold on to the pass when you are getting your brains knocked the f out is another thing. Lance Peterson understands these things. It's a great run right there. This is going to be like. Whoa. God damn. Did he get up there for that? I did not see that coming. game since I threw a pick, but that's okay. You know, sometimes it happens. And really, if I were this team, man, I would be running the ball all day down my throat. Because we couldn't stop it, really, to save our lives probably right now. <laughs> well, that's one way to end it down. He literally just caught that pat or caught the caught the snap and then just chucked it out of bounds. All right, buddy. So close. At least we played we played some good defense right there, so take your field goal. They're probably gonna try to kick it. Yep. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get a a return here. Looks like a solid return to me. All right, so all in all, pick the pick was there, but nothing came of it. Thankfully. Me. All right, so this is going to have to happen now. You try to mix it up, you try to get more people involved, and what do they do? They just make you keep throwing it to the same guy that's beating it out of them. Fine, Vanderbilt, have it your way. Ernest Dixon's gonna have another 20 catches. The 
This is a run right here for sure. Book it. It's another fantastic run. A little 10 yards right there. Slice that off. Solid five yard reception. Now we got some fresh legs in here. We'll give Frederick a shot. Yeah, you know what? We'll give him, we'll give him a shot. Fantastic. Nice run. Pretty much anything over four yards is just always a good always a good bet. Nice catch, Dante. Being tested. All right. You know the drill by now, if you've been watching. It's another good run, man. It's offense. When I don't turn the ball over, this offense is pretty damn awesome. Only, only gonna get better. It's gonna be scary to see what it looks like with uh, actual good players in it. Definitely a face mask. No flag though. Ref's blind. That ref has worse eyesight than Ray Charles. Touchdown right here. Looks good to me. Got a boy Lance. Stacking him up. 42 of 49. Not bad for the third quarter. This is definitely such a high volume offense. Run so many goddamn plays. 129 yard drive right there. It's because every time the, every time you get a a, a, a kick return, a, a missed field goal return, it does not count it correctly. This was, um, if I'm not mistaken, this game came out right right around when the the programmers figured out you could actually do that. And I think it was because of that that Alabama Auburn game, where what's his name, I forget what the guy's name was player for Auburn returned it like 108 yards or something to win the game on the final play of the game pretty crazy stuff nice a tackle for loss holy this can actually happen a boy Jeff way to get in the backfield Try to do that again. It's another TFL out of baby Antoine. He is easily one of the best players we have.
Oh, another interception. It's good. This defense is playing pretty good today. I'll give them that. Other than those two big, other than that one drive and that one big long touchdown run. But like I said, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be one of our games. catches for this mother today. I'm going to run this one, even though Peterson's open over here. But now we're really going to start to bleed this clock out some. Nice run. Start to mix in a run or two here. Chuck it to Peterson. After we take it under two minutes. Yeah, tight end catches. You gotta love it. He's gonna win the Mackey. I'm pretty sure uh, Tim Burton won the Mackey when he was with us. Pretty sure he was an All-American too, and he was also undrafted. Because, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. And it's really because I, I think I had, I think he weighed, his weight wasn't up to a requirement for the NFL. And again, in this game, they will not draft you. And I don't give a flying f I'm changing all of that. I will change their height and weight. Don't give a f Because really, if their production warranted it, they would still totally take a look at that guy. At least, at least undrafted free agent type of shit. Man, like if that, if some guy won the Mackey at a tiny ass little school like UMass, they would totally somebody would take a flyer on him, and like even in like the seventh round or something, somebody would just to see. somebody somewhere especially if they had a similar offense or anything like that it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be nothing for them to do that stuff happens like that all the time like this particular draft that's about to come up pretty much every wide receiver that's at the top of the draft and the top of the class is super short i weigh i'm taller and i weigh more than them at six foot 170 there's a bunch of just like five nine 145 or like 59 like 150 guys in this draft and that was a great run by James Sullivan right there a touchdown run for the senior I kick this field goal pause it briefly but it will be an instant for those of you watching at home bathroom she calls my name okay twenty four point lead with thirty five left in the third for the minute men and they call us the minute men because we'll bust that ass in a minute 68 plays, huh? 34 first downs. That's great. So half of my plays have been first downs. Fantastic. So this is like when Kobe Bryant and later in his career would just shoot a million shots and shoot like 70% from the floor after shooting like 30 shots and score like 40 points a game, 60 points a game. Atta boy. Oh, come on now. I got blocked. The computer got home, but couldn't quite get to him. Oh, good play, Vanderbilt. We almost had you. All 
right, well, limited. This will probably take us to, yeah, to the fourth. Well, fourth quarter, boys, the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter. Let's see. We've really done well in this particular formation, it seems. Not sure exactly what it is about it, but it seems to work well for us. Man, it would just be so great if I could just get the tackle, just get by the tackle and not get double teamed by the guard with Parrish. If that could happen, I would have had, you know, at least, at least a sack by this point. But hey, it is what it is. Got him. Clutch tackle, are they going for it? Yes, they are. I am really not surprised that they're doing this. So what I'm gonna do is, you guessed it, mother. Monster green, same play, same play. Look at that. Good job, boys. That a boy. Yeah. Good job, defense. This has been a good game for the defense, really. They have really been improving, I guess you could say. That. My man Eric's over a hundred. Got him a buck. Buck 04. So this is where we're gonna see if we can't get them to man up, but they're no, they're not gonna. Twenty catches for him? Yeah it is, dude. He's a monster. Speaking of monsters, that man right there is a load. He's a dog. I want to get Marvin Green a touchdown. I don't think that's him. I think he's 19. And that's 82. That's Dean. Oh, uh, you know, Dean rhymes with Green. We'll see. See if we can't get him a little something, something. Trent Dean. Can't get him another look here. Uh, you know, it looks pretty good. We're gonna wait a little bit though. Bleed this clock. Because the longer they bleed, the more we win. Had a boy Trent. Trying to spread it around this game. Lots of people caught touchdown passes today. Because really, I want I want Joe to be winning the Heisman number eleven. Pitch and catch, baby. So we pretty much, I mean, we've scored at least 45 points in all of these games. It, you know, let me know in the comments if you think it's safe to say that this offense is dominant. 
I would say so. But we will see how it all shakes out when the conference opponents come around and the AI ratchets up the difficulty quite a bit more. And also let us know in the comments what you think we could do to improve if you'd like to see us change anything. Or maybe, maybe just maybe, if you join our locals community and then you post in there, maybe I'll change one of these players around. Maybe I'll even change the stats for you depending upon how much money you give me a month. Good tackle. But either way, like and subscribe, huh? Especially if you're on Rumble, but definitely if you're on YouTube because, you know, we have to censor words like f But if you're on Rumble, you get to hear all the fun words. Not so much on YouTube, though. Oh, yeah, boys. Take me them three yards back. I want them back. Almost got the quarterback. Oh, it's wild, man. Like, see, he got he got hit. He missed that tackle, and then he got him. Good old thirteen coming in there. Number three's unlucky number, you might say. Well, not three deep, but no. Nope. Sometimes the controller, she no work. telling you man oh, I want them sacks so bad but this is what happens when I have to use freshman he's he's really young and unrefined but that's okay next year he's gonna be a dog he's just a pup right now though a promising pup at that solid return all right so what we're gonna do now is bleed it bleed it out oh man my man Marvin's in there mm. Get Marvin another catch still clutch caught the caught the game winning two-point conversion to beat the terrible you masters that pass interference maybe Oh, really? Uh, okay. Weird. Huh. I was going to say, that didn't seem like pass interference. Like, and, and definitely, if anything, the way the sliders are set up, I'm sure you've noticed, they don't really call face mask a whole lot. They seem to miss it much more often than not. Yeah, that's right. You pussies won't man up. Scared. Scared. Scared of what Dixon's gonna do to you. I don't blame you. 21 catches, 231 on one touchdown. The man is a machine. Yeah, the computer, the CPU is set up to at least the, the penalty sliders. The penalty sliders are the same um, as they were in the first season. So if you're familiar with that, you definitely know what you're getting into here. I'd like to get my man Marvin a touchdown here at the end of this drive. Maybe even 100 yards. Nope, y'all are scared. That a boy Marvin. You just let him go. Look at that. I just happened to look over, and there he was. Standing in the field all by himself. Jeez, you guys are just going to keep giving it to me, huh? The boy Dean. Dean. 
do you see? I, I mean, if you if you've been watching this, if if this if you watched all the way through to the first season, and you're watching now, it should be insanely obvious to you that the, that the A button, that that particular slot in this offense is the number one, where, where the number one wide receiver and the target for any given play is going to be at any given time. I'm pretty sure that's his first catch. Who the f is that? I'm not even sure if we've seen him catch a pass all year. Let's see if we can't get him a f touchdown, eh? And you out there would be giving me a touchdown if you subscribe to our locals page. $3 member or $20 member, either way. Every little bit helps. So we're gonna bleed this down. I'm gonna snap it with six seconds left on the clock. Ready? Atta boy, Richardson. You know, I'm I think I think all six of these passes have been to somebody different. I could be wrong about that because it's I, I'm not necessarily the the titan of memory that I used to be in my youth but I'm pretty sure most of these passes have have been to somebody else like I know old old Ernest Ernest Dixon's only got one touchdown of his 20 some odd receptions look at that gee you think we like to pass the ball in this offense 62 to 18 that's um, that's over three to one if I simulated these games, it would never work out like this. But yet again, this is 52, two games in a row, we got 52 points on the board. We have scored no less than 46 points in every single game. And at this point, I'm fine with just whatever the f Let's just try to keep it all in front of us. Like, I'll just run this play pretty much on defense for the rest of this game. If they run it, fine. Fine. Tick tock, tick tock. If they score it, whatever the f I don't really care. Nice tackle, Andrews. Atta boy. Mm, see, now, now I'm going to have to change the methodology here. You guessed it, though. Monster f green. Y'all are really going to probably tear me up in the comments for using that play so much. But eventually, you're going to see on plays like this where it nets a sack where the, the person who's actually f blitzing can pursue the quarterback correctly. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go back to what we were doing just a second ago. Now that we finally got a sack, feels good getting a bag. Oh, so close. Oh, come on, Wade. You almost had two. Got to get that, boy. Well, you know what? I might throw seven touchdown passes in this game. I kind of hope I do. Jeez, that one was on me. Actually, no, it wasn't. He just flat out dropped that. Sh nice hands, feet. Got a boy, Dante. So now we got the backups in here. Except for Joe. G.I. Joe. Or in this case, U.M.S. Joe. Real American hero. Throwing touchdowns wherever there's coverage over land and sea and air. 
Touchdown Joe is there. Fair enough. This is, and see, this is the kind of stuff that happens when I've been awake for 16 plus hours. Still, you know, I would love, I would love it if, if uh, <laughs> they actually made a fucking song that was like that. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, man, I fucked up. I did not quite see him there. He sort of blended in with the logo. Hey, you know, hey, fair enough. Whatever. That was my, my bad. I threw that pick. I could have had seven. But 56 for 66 for 542 and six touchdowns ain't too shabby. And see, this is what the computer does. Stupid bull like this. But whatever, man. Let's go run the clock down. You're like you're down. It's you're down by what thirty-eight points. You're in a halfback draw. Yeah. Uh. That a boy won. Call the priest because he just went to the parish. Or actually, the parish came to him. been consistently getting pressure. Yep, get in there and score. Yep, cool. Nice play. I want the ball back so I can maybe throw another touchdown pass. Although my only good wide receiver is out for the game, or out for the rest of the game since we're up by 30 one now shouldn't have thrown that ball should have just ran the clock out this is what happens this is a lesson for you all out there you you young upstart football game players you you future offensive coordinators if this was a closer game i might have right there and just gave up the game i swear to god i i did that all wrong oh my god they got the ball back too <laughs> I swear I hit the right button, but I guess not. Oh, Jesus. What, are they going to run it? Yeah. Well, I guess it got my man Juan two sacks. Yeah, had a boy. Yeah, make it three. Love it. Come on. Let's get one more. Deflections. Filling up the stat box for the boys. Great with those back to back sacks, though. That was pretty exciting. Juan Parrish, that was the steal of last year's class. And he is already paying dividends, huh? One second left, huh? Time to heave it to the mother. End zone. See, oh man. See, this is kind of bull because right now they're they're straight up manned up, right? Yeah, whatever. No big deal. No big deal. We busted them. Busting that ass in a minute. So that's 515, six touchdowns, and two interceptions, huh? Oh, would you look at that? He actually got player of the game, 56 of 66. 
another fantastic completion percentage. So we'll look at the highlights here. And, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure. So that's one touchdown for him. This is a rush touchdown for him. Yeah, Sullivan got it. So I'm pretty sure all six of those went to somebody else. We'll check for sure in the highlights. And yeah, look at this missed tackling. Yeehaw. And really, if we could just clean the tackling up, this team would be able to play great defense. Like, it really wouldn't be a thing. All right, yep, 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 come on. All right, man. Let's look at this. So... Yeah, 56 to 66, six, 542, six touchdowns, two interceptions, 84% completion percentage. So Eric Smith had 15 for 110, 7.3 yard average. Yeah, my man James over here, two for 19 and a touchdown. He's been kind of grabbing all the touchdowns. I was right. So Eric Dixon, 21 catches, 231 yards, 11, 11 yards a catch, one touchdown. So Peterson had nine for 75 and a touchdown. Green had eight for 96 and a touchdown, which we tried to get him, but they took him out. Dante Sanders had four for 31. Uh, Trent Dean had four for 37. Philip Johnson had four for 41. Joe Richardson had two, two for eight. Dean had a touchdown. Johnson had a touchdown. Richardson also had a touchdown. Nick Gay had two for 14 and one touchdown. And then Eric Smith had two catches for nine yards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people that caught two passes or more. And the majority of them, six people caught four or more passes so with one guy with 21 catches. He's going to have the record. I think I'm pretty sure that I got the record last year with Tim Burton, if I'm not mistaken. Again, for those of you watching in succession, if you are out there watching in succession, I'm coming back to this months later because life be crazy sometimes. So yeah, clearly we dominated them in offense, 644 to 285, 42 first downs to 10. They had 17 rushes, to 114 for two touchdowns. We had 19 rushes for 102 and one. Obviously 56 is 66 for six touchdowns. They were 12 of 28 for one. 542 to 171 in passing. Four to five four of five versus one of nine on third down. Great third down defense today. 0 for one on fourth down for them. Uh, nine seven and nine seven nine appearances in the red zone. Seven touchdowns, one field goal for us, one, one, and zero for them. We both had two turnovers, both were interceptions. 732 total yards. We we had the ball for 23 minutes and 19 seconds. Dominant, impervious to Vanderbilt. The Commodores got commandeered. All right, we're gonna move on here. We're gonna see. We're gonna get a quick little recap and see what happened during this week. This is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be sorted to be relevant information to us. So it looks like Washington won. Yeah, it looks like most of the. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, look at Wyoming over there, winning the game. That's kind of crazy that they had more rushing yards than we did. Actually, not really, because that's all I do is throw the ball. So, with that said, that's another week in the books. We're going to save it up and call it a week. And we will see you as soon as this is done saving. We will see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Join us on Locals if you want to see more and get your name involved. Appreciate it. See you next week. Peace.